Hi everyone, it is Tuesday for me and I wanted to update you on a couple of things, personal, and then also update you on a couple of devices as well. And I was thinking when I started this video that it was going to be a very short video, but it might end up being a little bit longer than I anticipated. But first of all, an update. My daughter's in Washington. I've heard from her. She arrived there safely. And I'm just super excited that uh, she's getting to experience America. I actually lived in New York, in Queens, for three and a half years, between 93 and 96. It's so long ago now. But it was a fantastic experience. And I'm just super happy that, although she's not in the same place that I lived in, uh, at least she's getting to experience America. And it was quite funny when I heard from her that she'd arrived there. I'd been tracking the flight and I never knew about flight radar before. Um, I'd never been on that website, but just seeing all the planes actually moving around and you can click on them and see where they're going to, I just found it quite interesting. So there you go. Um, the other thing I want to update you on was that I had my physio appointment today and with my uh, legs, I was sort of uh, tested to see how flexible I was and I was quite disappointed <laughs> with the outcome. Um, they, he was saying something like a uh, footballer normally gets tight sort of tendons and hamstrings uh, sometimes and um, they normally have, I don't know, I think he said between a 50 and 70% uh, range of movement and I've got about 30 to 40%. So I was quite like shocked at how sort of little range I had in the percentage stakes. But there you go. The physio will hopefully help. Um, I'm going to pick up some of these wheat heat pads that you can put in the microwave to heat up to actually heat warm up my muscle before I do the exercises that I've got to do. So there you go. There's an update on that. Oh, and I've got a phone call. So I'll be right back with you. So that's the phone call dealt with. And it's quite amusing, actually. I'll tell you the story about the phone call. Um, about three, four weeks ago, I made an inquiry to a photographic company about something and they called me back, dealt with my inquiry, really good service. And then about two, three days later, they called back again just to check that they made that call. And I said, yes, you have sort of spoken to me um, because it's another person sort of following up the initial call. And then three or four weeks has passed. They've rang me up again, just checking me that followed up with the call. So really making sure that they do follow up their calls. So very, very thorough. Um, but maybe they, if they ticked off who they'd spoken to, that would save them a little bit on their phone bill. But I'd rather have it that way than the other way. I've been dealing with another company that I've emailed um, about a business uh, deal that we're hopefully gonna get together on. And um, they didn't respond to the phone call. And then I actually rang them today and they're very interested. Uh, and they were gonna call back, but didn't call back again. So. The other end of the scale so I'd, I'd rather have it the other way too many phone calls but still I wanted to share with you about these devices remember I, I mentioned you about the devices I wanted to give you an update on well the first one is the Z1 compact from Sony and I'm liking it uh, I've I've been very very surprised the only negative I've come up with is when you're using like the Twitter app or the plume which is another Twitter client things seem all sort of mishmashed up on the screen there's not enough room not enough real estate to handle something like that because for example plume puts an advert across the bottom on occasion it just doesn't leave a lot of room uh, but the build quality very very pleased with the build quality and i've also got this rocks fit case uh, which is one of these sort of flip style cases and that's really nice as well and clove technology got this out to me in super quick time and i'm just really pleased with how this is actually working out so very very nice phone and then the other one is at the other extreme of the sort of screen sizes with a 4.95 inch screen and this is the red uh, Google Nexus 5 that I unboxed a couple of days back and I've got as you can see some apps installed now I hope that's sort of showing all right on the screen but I've got things like my Instagram YouTube a couple of business apps Evernote and my banking all the Google apps, obviously I use Gmail. I've got a couple of utilities on here already. Well, actually three. I've got one password, which I use for managing my passwords. You can see the icons there. And I've got Google Authenticator, Dropbox, and Geekbench 2. Flipboard, Facebook, you know, all the sort of things you would expect me to have on my phone sort of pretty quickly during the testing period. And I'm really enjoying it. I truly am. It's, it's really, really surprised me. 
because you all know that my daily driver is an iPhone 5S and I really wanted to get this in because of the colour. I didn't sort of, it didn't catch my attention first time round. And um, I'm pleased I got it in, I really am, because I'm not going to get rid of this one. This one's going to sort of stay with me and I'm going to use this alongside my iPhone. Um, I'm going to use this for uh, business use really. And I will be bringing you my full review soon of it, but so far, so good. It's a very, very good phone. Uh, been very surprised. I didn't expect to like it as much as I have. Turn it off. So that is it. The rest of my day, we're about six o'clock in the evening now, and I'm hoping to later on get a FaceTime call with my daughter. I missed one earlier because that was when I was having my physio, so the FaceTime call came in at a very inappropriate time. Um, but I'm hoping that she'll try again later, or I'll try and get in contact with her just to check how she's doing and check everything's okay out there. And the rest of the evening, I'm just gonna watch a little bit of telly, catch up on the Winter Olympics, which uh, I watched them snowboarding earlier. Oh my goodness, some of the sort of wipeouts and the crashes that were happening during, happening during the snowboarding. Wow, they are very, very strong and flexible athletes, put it this way, because they fall and they fall hard and they just get up and carry on. Very impressed indeed. I've actually, I keep flicking my eyes backwards and forwards between the camera and the telly because I've got the Olympics on in the background. So anyway, that's it. I hope everyone who's watching this video is having a fantastic day and a fantastic week. Leave me some comments, hit that like button, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.